Mr. Deal, it's DJ Overdose, formerly of the Chopaholics. And when I found out my boy Lucky was making music for the Lord, I had to hop on the remix. I came out the mud, but I kept going back. Came out the mud, came out the mud, out the mud, came out the mud, but I kept going back. Kept going back, kept going back. I thought I thought all I needed was my hands on a stack. Money, money, bang, bang. I was in the fast lane. Devil had me blotted with the fruits of the rap game. Women, women and girls. What's up, Luchi gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly Jean and this is Lucky Lou. What it do? Make sure you stay tuned and hit that like button. And don't be a hater in life. Make sure you subscribe right now if you haven't already joined the family. Turn on your post notifications by clicking on the little bell. Well, first off, today is Father's Day, so I just gotta give a huge shout out to all the daddies out there. Happy Father's Day to all of y'all that are actually playing the role. And even if you're not, you know, it's never too late. So go ahead, get yourself together, and hand it up. Handle up. Um, and baby, happy Father's Day to you. Thank you, baby. We just left church. They were actually having a car show, or they basically just had like a little um, setup with a whole bunch of fancy cars out there. And um, they gave free tacos for all the daddies and stuff. But like you just ate his tacos, like, we're still gonna go eat, and we're heading there right now. Y'all are gonna come with us. Father's Day is lit. Y'all missed us, huh? We ain't vlogged in about three days. Y'all having Blue Channel TV withdrawals, huh? <laughs> I know it, man. I know it. We're back to give y'all what y'all been needing, man. These positive vibes. Back to spread uh, positive vibes through the universe. Stay tuned. Happy Father's Day. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Tell them that is Elijah. That's Xavier. Your cousin. Hi guys. Hi guys. Then you be rope. Don't worry. Where? Houston, where's the animals? I'm not going. Point. Okay, I'm gonna show them. Go. Show them, Houston. Cut. The animals. The animals. Is he bothering? Tell him what is it? I'm a chicken. What is it? Moo. Moo? What is it? Houston cannot stop staring at these animals. Animals? <laughs> Father's Day lunch. The animals? I don't know what happened to my diet. Oh, Elijah just sneezed in front of everybody, man. Well, lunch was good. About to head home and let Lucky open his Father's Day gift. See his reaction on camera. Okay, so we just made it back to the house, and before I get started doing everything that I have to do around here, you know, just tighten up the house, I am gonna get Lucky's gift, which I was hiding in the boys' room. The boys' room, so dirty. Try to clean it. Girls, sit here. So this is where we hit it. That's his gift right here. I'm about to get it and then go get it. You're about to see. Come on. Let's go give it to him. I'm going to give it a big fat hug. Oh, it's mine? Hey! You trying to act? You said this was my dad's present. It's on the cow. Go! Hold on, hold on. Let's see what I got here. Read the to and from though. Happy Father's Day, we love you from Houston, Leah, CC, Baby Bro, Gigi, Kingston, Elijah, and KJ. Kelly Jean. Yeah. <laughs> I ran out of space. And X. And X. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. your it's not yeah. his birthday, yeah. it's Father's Day. Yeah, 
Happy Father's Day, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, baby? Oh. What is it, baby? What is it, baby? Leah, move. A microphone. Thank you, baby. You know I've been needing a new microphone. But show them what type it is. Aston microphones. It's a fancy mic. Yeah, it's a good cut. So I like he's been trying to go buy him this expensive, fancy microphone. So I decided to just take care of it. My other mic, Kingston or somebody broke it, so I've been using the podcast microphone to record on, and that ain't it. Somebody broke it. But now, I got a good mic. You see? Bam! Voila! Hold on, let me focus. This dad has present. Watch him start rapping. Yeah. To go rapping. Go. Whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 So I just got my microphone all hooked up, ready to go. Thank you, Kelly my Jean. Time, Appreciate time, you. My time, my time. She knew what I needed. So, y'all look out. Y'all look out, man. So I come out of my bedroom and I see these three girls laying on my couch. What happened to y'all? There's a huge flying cockroach in my room last night and it went under our bed. A huge flying cockroach and it went under your bed. And y'all got scared. Yeah. It's three on one. Why y'all didn't kill it? Three three on the one next Jay one. made me kill it. So if you killed it, why y'all get scared? She was right there next to her with the shoe and she got scared. And it's like, <laughs> what are they doing on the couch, Houston? Couch. They're on the couch. Well, I'm finna make me some coffee and some breakfast. Y'all get up and brush your teeth and do something around here. Good old donut shop coffee. There's no wine you do. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be slick on my vlog, making my coffee. I ain't put water in here. Hold this there camera. There ain't no mug under it either. Look at this. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Welcome back to Luciano TV. No, the trash is trash. Trash. All right. Bam. Take my daily vitamin. Get y'all some of this black seed oil. Build that immune system up, man. I woke up, thought I had COVID-19. All that crap talking you did about, I would never get tested. This is planted by the government. Yeah, man, I know what it was, too. The, I was, the, the ballet driver went to go eat Saturday night. The ballet driver jumped in my car, parked my car, and I swore he gave me COVID-19. But you're just... Because I woke up with one of my tonsils swollen. You're just being paranoid, babe. But it's okay, because today, <laughs> I will make me some chicken soup. Babe. <laughs> what? I go, I want to talk. He's like, go ahead. And then... <laughs> I will make me some good old spicy, garlicky chicken soup today to cure this tonsil I have that's swollen. Okay, guys. So, today is the next day. It is a new day. We're sorry we didn't get to upload uh, yesterday, but we ended up going to my in-laws house and we celebrated father's day with my suegro with my father-in-law and um we didn't get back home till 
kind of late so it was like not really convenient for us to just start editing late and then uploading a late vlog so we decided to make it one long banger today yeah oh my god i'm about to sneeze so uh we're about to get breakfast going it's i want to say it's seven o'clock in the morning i'm pretty sleepy because uh baby ro was up like at 5 30 and he was like wide awake all up until literally just 15 minutes ago so he's knocked out right now but there's no going back to sleep we're up I'm about to cook it up and then, yeah. Nia, wake up, we gotta go to the grocery store. <laughs> Come on, Leah, get up. Get up, that, bring that, you and that top lip. Oh, <laughs> you're so mean. <laughs> So new rule in place here in Harris County. Oh, there's two right here. Oh yeah, there's two on the hangout New rule in place over here in Harris County. It is like mandatory to wear masks in any uh, business out in public. So, did that make sense? Did that make sense? So it's mandatory to wear a mask when you're entering a business, you know? So uh, they can get fined, you can get fined for not wearing a mask kind of sucks you know but y'all have been you know going at us attacking us down in the comments talking about where, where your mask? mask at so here you go you know now I we got sick. now we got to do it i ain't sick <laughs> he's the main one that be talking about i think i got coming nah, like, I kinda let me tell you what's going on y'all know what's going on i got a i got a wisdom tooth in the back that's growing but it's growing under my gum instead of growing up out of my gum it's growing this way it's impacted it's yeah impacted. my tooth is growing this way i got an x-ray and it's growing that way and so it's swollen and it's making my whole right side of my inside of my mouth swollen and i ain't feeling that you're eating lucky charms you're eating lucky charms you Justin. <laughs> He's so cute. I think it's in here. Yeah. Marshmallows. 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 Eat it. Eat it. Yummy. Yummy. Do something cute. What? <laughs> All right, that'll do. Uh oh, marshmallow. You make a mess. All right. They took me. Two I've been here with all the kids all day long. Yeah. So for tomorrow we have a babysitter, right? I'm father for real. Anyways, Kelly Jean went and got her uh, tattoo removed today. Well, the first trial. It's gonna take about three or four trips to the doctor, but she started her first trial getting her tattoo removed, and this is how it went. So I am on the way, I'm on the road. I am gonna get my face tight removed. So 
if y'all don't know what my face tattoo says, it actually says Carla. You don't know who Carla is. She was my best friend slash sister slash soulmate. She was my ride or die. She was my ace. And she actually passed away um, a couple years back in 2015, which was super hard for me. If you've had a loved one, someone as close as she was to me, you know, leave this world. Um, y'all can probably relate. But so yeah, I ended up going through like this phase where I was super depressed and I was super confused, lost. Um, I was just down the wrong path after she passed away. I let that get the best of me and my emotions were like all over the place. So I was walling basically. Um, long story short, I ended up going to the tattoo shop one day and I got her name tatted on my forehead, like on the side of my face. And not that I regret it, but you know, I am a little older now. I am 25 and there's a lot of things that I wish I wouldn't have done. A lot of tattoos that I wish I wouldn't have got. And so here is the start of me trying to clean that up. You know, I am older and more mature and I really just don't want to have a tattoo on my face. So we are on our way. Gonna go get my tattoo removed and Y'all are gonna come with me. Money in the fame, I was in the fast lane. Devil had me blinded with the fruits of the rap game. Women in cars, I spent my money in bars. If I kept it up today, I'd probably be behind bars. Chasing dirty dollars in a Glock, so we trust. Playing with that powder, got my thoughts full of lust. Pills and new boards, life is too short. Get drunk, pass out, throw it up on the floor. Always in the club, never knew how to love. Till I started having babies and they taught me what it was. Knew I had to change, but I couldn't, I was weak. Kept falling off, going back. To the streets, try to battle my addiction, but it kept getting worse. Man, I need some help. I think I'm finna go to church. And I just got on my knees one day, man, and I just prayed. I just prayed. I said, I said, Lord, help me, please show me the way. I know I said it last time, but I mean it in today. I'ma open up the book and I'ma read these scriptures. Temptation on my soul, and it's all so vicious. Lord, help me, please show me the way. I know I said it last time, but I mean it in today. I'ma open up the book and I'ma read these verses. No, the devil don't wanna see me in these. What's, what's going on with Lucky Lou? He don't want to party. I met the Holy Spirit and it's flowing through my body. I'ma get up early, discipline myself. Fall to my knees and thank God for my health. I could have been dead, no, I could have been gone. But God knew before I go, I had to write this song. If you're going through a struggle, no, we all been through it. Gotta call Made on the Lord. In the room. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, so they applied dummy cream and I have to wait 30 minutes now. And then we will get started with the procedure. Are you ready? Hang on. You need me to stop, you just let me know, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, it's a different thing. Woo. You okay? Yeah. You did very well though. It's Okay, so I just pulled out the clinic. I am in the car. I am heading back home. Um, but today, I actually got a treatment called the Pico Laser Removal, which is, I want to say, less painful. And it's supposed to be like a quicker process. 
you know versus the regular laser it would have took like eight sessions this is only going to take half of the, that time which is four the max five sessions and uh sessions uh the max five sessions but hopefully we stick to four because this is painful i'm not gonna lie like it was like a burning sensation along with pain and i'm just hoping that i see results lucky actually came last week and got his face tattoo removed or lasered off he's only gonna need two max three sessions um and i already see a difference in his um tattoo and so i already feel my face swelling up like i i feel like my eye is a little poofy right now from up here um just from the actual procedure um but <sighs> all right before we get out of here i want to give a birthday shout out to andrea happy birthday andrea the next birthday shout out goes to amaya downey turning 18 years old Happy birthday. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. We will be back with another battle. Kept, kept falling out, going back to the streets. Trying to battle my addiction, but it kept getting worse. Man, I, man, I need some help. I think I'm finna go to church. And I just got on my knees one day, man.